Plummeting temperatures can be deadly for pets in extreme cases. And if you leave your dog outside in weather like this, you actually could wind up in trouble with the law. Fox 17's Eric Alvarez is live downtown to tell us more about the men and women who are out tonight rescuing animals in this bitter cold. Eric? Well, Scott, Stacy Metro Animal Control says if you have a pet that is outside without shelter, bring them in right now or face the consequences. Animal control officers will be patrolling Davidson County neighborhoods for the next few days, keeping an eye out for animals left out in the cold. Now, it was 20 degrees when officers came across this East Nashville pit bull that wrapped its chain around a tree and was unable to move. Now, there's no telling how long he was out there because the dog's owners were not home. Now, legally, the officers could have confiscated the dog, but instead they freed him and fixed what they referred to as a faulty runner. Now, they also insulated the dog's kennel to give him some protection from the elements. Of course, they say when temperatures get this cold, it's better simply just to bring them inside. Yeah, in a perfect world, like tonight and tomorrow night, you would, you would take your pets in the house. Um, if you can't do so, then they, they've got to have some kind of shelter that they can get to. Uh, they, they can freeze. Uh, we've seen it happen before. Now, Big says if you leave your pet outside without shelter, you could face a misdemeanor animal cruelty charge. If they find your pet dead or dying out in the cold, that could end in a Class E felony. Now, Metro Animal Control says they have several teams patrolling Davidson County, and they expect to answer dozens of calls over the next few days. Of course, this, these plummeting temperatures promise to affect more than just pets. They can also affect your home and, in fact, the electrical grid itself. Tonight on Fox 17 News at 10, I'll tell you how you can be a part of the solution. Reporting live in downtown Nashville, Eric Alvarez, Fox 17 News.